Hey guys, Gary here from My Worth Pro today. I just want to talk about the reason why you should not throw away your old, old Apple products like iPhones, iPads, or iPods, and why you should keep them for like certain purposes in life. So let's get started. Okay guys, so before we get started, I just want to say that Yesterday, I posted something very, very important to my community tab that will tell you guys how you guys can help keep my channel's future going and how my channel progress become bigger and stronger channels like it is right now. Like help it come even stronger in the future and how it would help my channels in my career on YouTube. So guys want to go check that out. Very, very important for my channel's future. Okay, so... If you have your, the reason why you should never throw out your old devices, you can still use them for like photo albums for storing photos, play music, and do basic tasks like that. Like my original iPhone here. I actually, you still use it to play games, listen to music, watch photos, videos, everything. So you got a lot of game on here. So I actually did make a video on this like February 21st, 2021 on how to install apps on iPhone 2G in 2021. I renamed it to 2022 because the method still works. Has over like 8,000 views on it, over almost 9,000. So you guys want to check that out. The link for that will be in the description below. This method is still working today. And I also use the film for music, but when it hits 59% battery power on the original iPhone, it was shut down. See, I also have the battery percentage, and I'm and I am not jailbroken at all. I will prove it to you guys that I'm not jailbroken. See. Search Cydia and no results on so don't jailbreak. But basically, this is part of the jailbreak. But the jailbreak, I actually removed the jailbreak and was able to keep the battery percentage enabled. So basically, I changed the code in the file system, which allowed me to update the phone instead of restore it. The updating removed the jailbreak, but left the battery percentage turned on. So I will be making a video on this later on on how to enable battery percentage on the original iPhone in 2022. So be on the lookout for that video after this video. Okay, so I also use this phone for taking pictures as well. Sorry, I got to plug this phone in. The battery can give me a little bit of trouble sometimes when I'm doing using my phone on here. Okay, so there we go. The phone's now plugged in. I also use this phone for recording video as well. So I use an old app store app called Camcorder. It's not available anymore, but I actually did a demo video today. You see, pretty terrible. Basically, since this phone doesn't have the ability to use frames, like frame like normal video does, like this video you're watching right now, it uses a, stop, a sort of a stop motion like like frame rate instead of a normal video. So it uses part of a stop motion to create the, the movement in the video, but still normal audio, which is pretty impressive. The audio doesn't sound great because the microphone is tiny right down here on the bottom here. So, yeah, so basically this iPhone is good for taking pictures, videos, play games, everything else. And before I got, and you guys may be asking that, does all my iPhone work on here? The answer to that is no. After Apple shut down MobileMe, the from my iPhone on the original stopped working, so that no longer works. But it still works for everything else here. Really cool. Next up, 3G and 3GS. I'll also be talking about the custom cases I made for these phones later in this video. So next up, my 3G and 3GS iPhones. So if you didn't hear anything on my 3GS, that's because my 3GS has a broken dock connector assembly, so that's why you cannot hear much. But the 3G and 3GS are pretty good phones. The 3G gets still downgraded to 3.1.3 or 3.0, like I did on this one. My 3GS here on iOS 6.1.6, you can downgrade this phone to 4.1. But I don't use my 3GS much at all because it has a defective logic board, so... Every time I watch the YouTube videos from Safari, do music, games, and everything, it'll shut down. So, <clears throat> sorry about that. So, that's why I don't use my 3GS much for pretty much anything. The 3G, though, I can still, I, you can still install games on these phones, though, but not much. But you'll have to use my original iPhone apps video, like I showed you earlier on, during this video. See, it's how to install apps on have 2G. This method also works for older versions like iPhone 3G as well, an older version of 3GS and iOS 3 and 4 or 5. And pretty handy. So these phones are not the greatest, but still work. Next up, the 4 and 4S. 
Monolith here. In the 3GS will be used in the original iPhone 2G apps video and how to install apps in the original iPhone, so that's all. Next up, the 4 and 4S models. So basically, I made these custom cases to support my best friend and musician Hannah Strummeter. So if you guys want to go check her out, her channel link will be in the description below. And she do, she actually knows I made these custom cases and she loves them, 100%. Okay, so the 4 and 4S still run modern looks of iOS today. Say iOS 7 and iOS 8. So I downgraded my 4S to iOS 8 to make it run faster. So you guys can see, they're still using the modern look of the iPhone like we use today. So iOS 7 was the first one I get the modern flat look like we have right now. The 4S here has some other great features. So basically, I have contacts in the app switcher here, which on the newer version, it's in the widgets now. And you can still install modern apps on here today, like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of these cool apps, including Apple's work apps here. And the 5 my iPhone does still work on iOS 4 and later. So if you have a device running iOS 4.1 up to now, you can still use my iPhone just fine. I also use my iPhone 4 for listening to music and all that. Tell you all my music right here. But the iOS 7 cover flow, if you guys remember this, it was instead of doing the other one, like the iPhone, the original iPhone had, which had one row with the, I, with the album slid out of the way to show one album. This one has them all in the gridlock style. So I like this one a little better, but I still like the I, older version better. So I can still install lots of stuff like the older version of Musical.ly or TikTok. You guys, who remembers Musical.ly from back in the day? So I remember... I don't, I never use Musical.ly, but I do still use TikTok, TikTok right now, so. This is the 2014 version, so what's good about using the older version of Musical.ly or TikTok, you can actually go back in time to see what certain years look like and what styles people used in other years, so. This is 2014, so pretty cool, actually. The 2015 version is a little different, but I don't want to show that right now. And if you guys have an iPhone 4S or higher, you can still install Among Us right now through your purchase section on the App Store. So I did install Among Us on here. I did play it with Hannah Strummer as well. And believe me, it's so much fun playing it. I don't play it anymore, but it was fun back in the day. So pretty cool. Next up, iPhone 5 models here. The 5 c is the same as the iPhone 5, so I'm not going to show that. If I see them in. So my iPhone 5 and 5S, so fun fact that... Back when I first started my channel during the iOS 9 and iOS 10 series, this was the iPhone I used in those older videos from iOS 10 betas and iOS 9 betas back in the old days. So those videos are still on my channel right now. Because believe me, if you go look at my iOS 10 videos compared to my iOS 16 videos today, you can see how much I evolved on the channel and how far I've come from being like a not so great YouTuber to an impressive YouTuber today. Believe me, it's very impressive. You can still install a lot of apps on this little phone, like modern apps, like Chrome, all that. I can still use HomeKit on the phone, too. Like, if you guys can see my light strip in the background there, off, on, I can still control it from iPhone 5. Everything still works and all that. Control Center, three pages instead of the cool one we have in the 5S. So I also use my 5S for my iOS 11 series. Guys, you guys, some of you, a lot of guys were not there for my iOS 11 series and earlier. Same for my 12 series. But I do know you, a lot of you guys who are watching right now came after my iOS 14 series was uploaded. So that's when I know still a lot of you guys were on here. So some of the people who watch my older videos today are still on here today. Who watched my iOS 11, 12, iOS 14 videos and earlier are still on here. You know, the iPhone 5 and 5S is a great phone. I, and I've had this iPhone 5 since 2012. Since I was, I had this phone since I was 11 years old, which is pretty impressive, actually. This phone was in September of 2012, so very impressive. I, this phone, I fixed it up, placed the camera, screen, and got it working again. It's pretty cool. Next up, the iPads. And the reason why you should keep you should keep your original iPad, you can actually use some of the old adapters, like camera adapters, for like transporting or importing photos from old iPhones. And the other thing is. I have tested it, and you can actually import photos from newer iPhones, like the tw iPhone 12 and 13 series. You can still use this to import photos from the iPhone 12 and 13 series to the iPad. You can still do that today. So I'm going to connect my original iPhone up for this demo. I don't use I don't use the phone for personal photos at all. 
you see, there we go. Now all my photos for my iPhone 2G are now showing up on my original iPad. So I'm gonna use this photo right here on my battery for a demo. Click import, import selected. And after I import, you see when it completes, it says, would you like to delete the imported photo from iOS Pro's iPhone? I usually keep them just like that. So that is the camera adapter for the original iPad. And the cool part is I can still download music on this iPad today. So I'm not done filling this iPad up yet, but I'm getting, I'm getting there. You can even still get directions on the original iPhone as well. But the original iPhone, I do want to mention, if you have an older iPhone like the iPhone 2G, you'll have to use the manual location to get direction. Because if you remember everything I pros, the iPhone torture video where I used the original iPhone for a day in 2018, basically what it didn't know is you can actually enter your location details manually in the direction tab. Instead of getting my current location, you can actually enter your location manually. That's how you get directions and do navigation on the original iPhone today. <clears throat> okay, so games and apps still work on this old iPad. You, you can still use it for reminders, Game Center, Newsstand, all that. And who remembers the old YouTube? I used to use the old YouTube back when I was a kid. I used to use this all the time. Back when I was like third grade, back in like, I don't remember, like before I was five came out, definitely. Sometime in 2010, I used to use it in early 2011. I used to use the old YouTube app all the time. Oh, pretty cool. I remember when it got removed in 2012 and iOS 6, I do. Next up, the iPad 2. So this iPad does do some work as well. So this iPad is old. I use the same since 2019. I actually got it off eBay, but I downgraded to iOS 6 before iOS 6 stopping sign. And I still used to play all my old favorite games. I used to use this iPad for my schoolwork and all that, like in Quizlet. So yeah, I used to use all, I actually have my old school cards still here. Pretty cool. This iPad brings back a lot of memories. I can still play modern games on here today as well. You know, not the greatest device, but it'll still work. Next up, my iPad third generation. So I recently downgraded this iPad down to iOS 8.4.1. And what's good about this old iPad I'm running iOS 8, I got some very cool wallpapers. So who remembers the old wallpapers from back in the day? Like iOS 8 had all these old wallpapers. So as of right now, iOS 8 is in iOS 16 have the most wallpaper that have the most wallpaper that of all the iOS versions today. And I remember the old Milky Way Galaxy one here. And this flower one was the iPhone 6's original wallpaper, which is really cool. And this upper one right here was the wallpaper they used for iOS 8 beta. So iOS 8 was my very first beta I've ever tested. So I've been testing beta since iOS 8, and this is the version. This is the version I tested, iOS 8. So iOS 8 up to now, I've been testing. This is my ninth major release of beta testing, which is really impressive. So I only tested iOS 8 beta 4 up to now, but I didn't start making videos till late iOS 9 and 10. But if you guys were, are wondering why my iOS 10 videos sort of failed and weren't as good as it is today. It's because on iOS 10, guys, I remember, iOS 10 beta 1, I actually got sick on iOS 10 beta 1, so I, I couldn't think properly, so was, that's why the video was not that great. But my iOS 11 series were better because I actually had the iPhone 5S and iPhone 6 models at that point. So I was able to do my videos a whole lot better like they are today. Believe me, having devices the same size and everything makes the video so much easier. And... If you have device that supports all the features, it makes it 10 times easier as well. So that's why my videos are, weren't as good back then as like they are today. Next up, the iPod Touch. So I still use the iPod Touch every day for like music and all that. Sorry if it's very hard to see my brightness is up. So some of you guys are wondering, because I've heard from a lot of guys may turn my brightness up on my devices, but that's the result, glaring and all that, so. You can still use the iPod Touch for the same things as the iPhones. Like my iPod Touch 3, I still use it for my videos and all that. See, all my videos right here. So sorry, it's very hard to see this. So I still watch my old TV shows from when I was a kid. On here are all these music videos and music still works on here too. So the battery percentage method and the apps method will work on the first iPod Touch as well. But I still have to make a video on how to do it on the iPod Touch first because it's a little different because Apple didn't start supporting the iPod Touch apps until later on. And this is my cleanest iPod ever as well. Pretty impressive. And 
if you have the old dock, so some of you guys may not remember this, but who remembers having the old dock back then for the old iPhones and iPod touches here? So in the old dock, I could plug it in and still use it. So this is the old dock for the iPods and iPhone 4 models. They were pretty impressive. So that is basically why you should keep your old Apple devices. You can still use them for day-to-day -day tasks like today. And if you have an old lightning dock, you can actually get the adapter for the lightning to 30 pin to put on here, then plug your old devices in here like this. Let me just aim my camera down so I can show you guys what I'm doing here. Then I can get my old iPhone 4 here, plug it in, and just like that, I'm charging through the lightning dock. This also works on the original iPhone as well. Huh, not sure why it stopped charging there. Just like that. So I can use the lightning dock to charge my original iPhone. But it doesn't work that great because the charging piece bends a little bit. So I am later on, I'll be making a video on how to use the iPhone dock of the charging stand. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you like the video, give the video a thumbs up. Smooth video. Peace out.